the Thacker Chronicles, it couldn't get any better. Candlelight, whiskey, and Lindy Ortega. Cheers, my friend. Cheers to you. Yes. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. When I have played you on my radio show before, I would say that maybe next to one of my other guests that I had in here, the Wood Brothers, you you edge them out. But the most comments that I get back, Facebook, Twitters, all of those social networking sites, when I play you, it lights up. Really? Absolutely. That's awesome. It's not, it's the God's honest truth. Oh, you don't know me. I'm a nobody. I sing on the street for a few pennies. I got a busted string and a broken guitar. I've been singing for tears down at the local bar. And I hope you'll take this as a compliment uh, and and not that Dolly Parton doesn't have some sort of attitude, but <laughs> I feel like you're the Dolly Parton that smokes camels, <laughs> drinks whiskey, and will cut anybody who crosses her. Now, that's what I feel about you, you know, as I sit and anticipate you coming <laughs> in to meet me. How close am I to... To hitting the mark. Bang on, my friend. <laughs> Bang on. <laughs> Are yeah, you? I've been I've been actually uh, called the Gothic Dolly Parton the, before, I which like I will it. take. I'll take that. That's good. I have no shame in that. Goth Dolly. But and I have to say, I'm a huge fan of Dolly. I think she's incredible. She and I is. Love her voice and and any comparison to her is a great honor. So thank I you think for that. so too. I <laughs> think she's you know for me she's up there with Elvis. You know, she's yes. a she's a, a writer of, of humongous hits. And still going strong. And still going amazing. strong. She's and an amazing woman. Can still wear a pair of jeans. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's got style for days. I think the first song I played was Little Red Boots. And it's been a while and back. I, look what Do you I have your, yeah. Oh, Little Red you Boots. You think I would go anywhere without my Little Red Boots? Apparently not. They are glued to my feet. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not lying. It's Don't true. take them off. <laughs> I take them off for nothing. Right? You have to saw those suckers off. <laughs> <laughs> they unscrew at night. Yeah, your exactly. ankles. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> my feet aren't actually real. They're oh, just, yeah. well, that's good. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the, it's it's the, the whiskey. whiskey. All right. <laughs> well, I wrote this song. have you lived here in nashville now you you're living here now right yes i love nashville i live i've been here for about a year and a half it'll be two years uh in december and um love love it it's a great city what is it that what was the main thing that that said yes i have to move here did you make the decision to move hot here? chicken hot chicken no, <laughs> that's part of it <laughs> um, the food is actually really great i love it um and the arnold's meat and three is one of my oh, favorite places yeah. to go eat arnold's um, on eighth yeah exactly it's the best yep um but yeah uh in all seriousness besides the food um the history there's so much great country music history here that is undeniable and i love i love all the classic country artists so i needed to be where they actually was and I needed to to go to the Country Music Hall of Fame and look at those beautiful guitars <laughs> and um, 
yeah, just uh, it's inspiring in that way. But also, I learned since being here that there's such a great underground scene in Nashville, and there's a lot of really great music um, being made that is very much inspired by, but by that old sound still. And I think a lot of people don't don't outside of Nashville know that they they think it's very much the commercial um, sort of pop country thing going on. They don't really understand that there there is a whole underground burgeoning scene here, especially East Nashville, mm-hmm. um, of stuff happening. And I'm just so proud to, to be here and I, I get to witness it. It's really great. Beat up and rusty Lost in the shining stars of Nashville, Tennessee been uh described as the love child of johnny cash and nancy sinatra I have people asking me if i really am <laughs> i was like i wish <laughs> yeah so you're a bird lover mm-hmm. are you do you consider yourself a professional bird lover i feel like i am a bird <laughs> No, I, I, yes, actually, I think I would have been an ornithologist. Uh, there's like, if I wasn't a singer, I'd either be like a storm chaser or an ornithologist, which is the study of birds. And I would be chasing tornadoes yeah. like crazy. Oh, right you and now. me then. We got to do it. Let's we'll do it. We'll get together. Next right. time, you know, tornadoes roll through the alley, you and I, let's get together. I'm all Can over. Can we wear superhero outfits? And Because that's what I see myself in a superhero outfit. Yeah. Chasing tornadoes. At least with a helmet. Because yeah, I don't want a head hail. wound. For yeah. I don't want yeah. a head wound. Watch that mesocyclonic <laughs> rotation going on. Yep. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I, whatever <laughs> that means. I don't know what that means. But yeah. The tornado. <laughs> the tornado. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Star beat up and rusty Lost in the shining stars of Nashville, Tennessee So where do you get your dark sense of humor? Your tongue-in-cheek sort of sassy? <laughs> I think it's a mix of uh, that old Irish humor from my mom the mom's side of the family she's northern irish and she's a bit wacky herself <laughs> was her was your uh was she hilarious around the oh, house when you were growing up she's always hilarious yeah. she's a crazy woman all my friends loved her when i yeah when i, I had cool parents you know yeah. my dad was a bass player in a latino band oh. my mom was a crazy irish woman so <laughs> yeah wow I love your music. Thank you so much and i'm so thank thrilled you. that you took the time out to oh, come it's a pleasure and sit with me Thank you. Thanks for the whiskey. Thanks for the good company and the candles. Come on back. I feel like I'm being wined and dined, whiskeyed and dined right now. <laughs> That's what will happen with the Thacker Chronicles. You get whiskey and dined. Right on. <laughs> Lindy Ortega, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> See